just wanted to talk to you quickly about the build and structure of our bunk bed. Um, the whole thing is framed up with, with two bys right that you will find in the lumber section. Uh, two by eights for the top, two by fours for the bottom, and then four by fours for the post uh, with pretty large lag screws to hold everything together. Uh, we built this thing kind of like we would build a deck just for just the absolute most strength we could possibly think of just because you know it is our kids uh, sleeping on this thing, playing on this thing, bouncing around. Um, so we want to make this thing as safe as possible, as strong as possible. So really it's probably overkill, uh, but that's fine. That, that uh, makes me sleep a little easier at night knowing that. Uh, for the slats underneath the mattress, uh, we created some rails on either side so the slats will sit on top of. Uh, and at first I was thinking it would probably be best just to do one full sheet of material for the slat to hold the mattress up. Um, just for, for again that kind of that structure, the strength. Uh, but we didn't have full sheets uh, and we were trying to do it on a budget so we just cut up some scraps so half are OSB and half are like MDF three quarter uh, but what's interesting is actually that proved to be a little bit better um, so when you're you're laying on the bed you know you have higher spots of tension like on your hip and your shoulder and those things kind of bear down if you sleep on your side your side a little bit more and if you would have had a full sheet there would be hardly any give on those points those pressure points and so what the slats do, the slats kind of bow a little bit, not in a bad way, but in a good way. So again, those high points of stress, um, those slats give way a little bit to that. So it actually creates a more comfortable um, feel to it. Um, some other cool things, we have the, the half inch acrylic I was able to get a hold of. I understand that's, that's not something you're probably going to be able to get a hold of. But uh, anything will work if you want to use more two bys or some kind of wood or something else just to create a, a nice uh, wall for safety reasons, right? Uh, and then our steps, uh, we did out of pretty much MDF, uh, just made them structurally sound out of some different scraps and gave them a round over and a paint job and call it good. We put through a, a PVC pipe on the wall next to the steps uh, for, for a handrail. So everything was geared in mind for, again, safety structure uh, and then the, uh, the look of it kind of came second, right? The colors and the, 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 the funness of it, uh, but number one, you want to make sure uh, the kiddos are safe, sleeping in it, playing it, jumping in it, whatever, uh, and then everything else comes second. Okay, as far as looks, really the main thing we did was we added uh, this blue paint. I think it's called Waterfall Blue, maybe? I'll have to look at it. But we added some blue, white to all the trim. Of course, we got the plexiglass. Uh, the only regret I really have about that is that the white shows a lot of dirt basically everything, which is really hard on these steps because they're on these all the time. Handrails, so you can imagine it shows a lot. So it has that really bright look. Um, looking back, I think I would maybe consider, I don't know, maybe doing a dual color, maybe the blue and something else, the blue and the white up here or blue and pink or something, but I like how it makes it blend in with everything, but up close, it does give it a little bit of a dirtier look. So in that first step, we did not have this up on a twin bed. Our youngest was three. She was just in a, like a crib mattress. So we got the main structure done. We just put that on the floor, which was fine for a long time. She slept on that fine. She was a little bit of a roller, so we didn't have this height to worry about. And it gave them a little extra playroom. So she got older. We got her a kind of a big girl bed here, got the twin bed and raised it up, which I love because I measured it so that we could have this under the bed storage. So these side boxes fit under there great. So we've got Legos, we've got a Lego mat, I've got another box with clothes that they outgrown. So it adds some extra storage and that's also a big bonus to your stair concept because underneath this platform you have plenty of room for storage. We have not done a lot with it. I've done some different platforms at different times, some shelving but we just don't really need a lot right now and those weren't working great for us so right now we just got a box with some stuffed animals and that's really working great for what we need but it has a lot of potential where you could build it out and do a lot with that area.